Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Satisfactory. So uh, today we're going to do a couple things. First we're going to go for vehicle transportation. Um, hopefully this one's quicker, but we're going to do uh, this one and then the coal power. We're going to do two different things. This way it keeps us busy and we can focus on that and we can do other things in between. So we're going to go ahead and grab this. We're going to grab 200 of this. We're going to load up our inventory. We'll probably do a cut or something. Because um, we're going to get ready for uh, an adventure as well. But let's go ahead and do this first. So there you go. There's your 200. There's that and that. There you go. I'm hoping this is not too long. I think the coal one is like... Oh yeah, four minutes. I think the coal one's like Milestone seven or eight reached. minutes. So this one's Long actually quicker. transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. Ooh. Vehicle stations have built-in functionality to refuel and restock or collect parts. There you go. So we can we can build one of these. We need 25 of those, or five of those, sorry. Ten of those and five of those. Okay, so we can get uh, ten of these. And then we need beacons, which uh, they're probably just regular materials, to be fair. I don't know what they require, but we'll just grab a few things here. That should be good. So beacons, what do you require? Oh, looks like we did good there. So there you go. So we got the ability to make a tractor here. So this tractor is awesome. Uh, before we had that little cool buggy to get around our base, tractors were your uh, your method of getting around your base. Um, you know, you would want to make sure your base is a lot, you know, more open in areas because uh, your tractor could only fit in certain areas. But uh, you get on there, you're actually protected. I believe mobs can't hurt you while you're on there, or at least I don't think they could. Um, they don't aggro you, at least I don't think. But uh, yeah. Um, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to clean up my inventory here. I'm going to actually clean it all up. But I'm just going to dump this first. And then uh, we'll deal with that after. So I've, as you can see, I've gotten things a little organized here. Got a little bit of uh, resources here. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to get some fuel for our tractor here. And we're going to go on a bit of a venture. Now, um, I'm pretty sure there's coal like way over here, over here, somewhere way over here if I remember. Um, these are just like from a long, long time ago when my friend and, uh, Benner and I, I didn't actually record that at that point, but I remember we found an oasis kind of little area. It was like a valley or whatever. It had some nice water and a pl good place for power, basically. I'm trying to look for that, so I don't really know exactly where it is, but I'm pretty sure it's not in those directions. Pretty sure one of them has no water. I think it's down over there. It was like on a floating area i think there's another one that was like on a hill that's up there but it had like a little pond near it but we don't want that we actually want a lot i mean a lot of water because we're going to need it for our uh coal generation so that's what we're going to work on basically so one two three four five i guess we can grab five of each one two three four five uh one and then oh that'd be the same stuff silly two you know let's grab three of those one two three four um okay one two three four five six maybe i don't know how much will fit in here i'm just going to put this as excess in here so it'll be in here for us to use and then we can figure out actually get most of that in there yeah wait did i really oh my i did not realize i did it that well that obviously that was not intentional that was just me being that good of a player i guess all right um so we got We'll get four of those. One, two, three, four of these. I guess I'll carry another screw. I don't think I need screws, but you never know. Get two of those. One, two, three, four. You're going to need a lot of those, but probably with what we have on there, we'll have enough. This, you'll need a lot of it, though. And then I'll grab one of you. I mean, we use those a bit from time to time. Let's grab a couple of these. Actually, I think these are what you'll need the most of. I'll grab a couple of these. I think you need um, the one quite a bit to be fair. So, oh, and then we're gonna have to launch all this, which kind of sucks in that sense. So you know what we'll do? So we have our nice uh, store all. Oh, you're gonna have to do this a second time, huh? Which we just ran out, of course. We're gonna do something silly here. There you go, store all, and then store all, and that way we just have it. Okay, so let's do our next one here, milestone. So you're gonna need 150 of these. So. Um, you can actually split, by the way. You can go shift right click, and there you go. So there's your 150 of those. You're going to need, uh, well, this one's, I don't actually, there's a way, I think, to, I don't know how that works, though. So. Anyways, we'll just grab whatever. And then we're going to need 300 of these. There you go. And then we'll load you up, my friend. We'll load you up. And there you go. And coal power ready for launch. 
And this one Milestone adds a lot of stuff. Look at that. An improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Okay. And then Note, our inventory. Ensure yeah. the close proximity of water there to you the go. coal production line. Note. Pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids. There's a little vehicle, pipes. by the way. No. Oh, there it is. Throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. So our goal today is to find... We're going to do a bit of exploration, obviously, because we're going to find this uh, coal. And uh, our other goal is to um, set up uh, coal generation today. So we'll do some cuts. We'll, we'll go for our journey, find a place, and then maybe clean it up. You know, all that fun stuff. Um, we got a lot of tickets, by the way. Um, so if we look here, 23 tickets, not too bad. Look at that, 36. So almost 100k soon per you need for that. And we were making like, what was it? Uh, I guess, yeah, 1200 or so per minute. I only shut this off recently, so I don't really have a lot of uh, the copper here. But uh, that's fine. It'll get us started anyways. Uh, I'm not going to spend those tickets now, but obviously we're doing pretty damn good, so... Um, and then let's just see what we're going to require to make the power generator here. So it requires, okay, yeah, it does need those. So you need 10 of those. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of wiring. And you're going to need those too. Damn, I didn't realize that. Um, so I might want to pick up some more resources here, to be fair. Yeah, you're getting pretty low though. Uh, I, guess, I guess we're not going to be looting anything on our way there, at least. And we'll make an outpost there too. Uh, this is like the, the beauty of this game, and the part I like a lot actually is that we're gonna go far away to somewhere, and then we're gonna have like an actual little outpost. So that's kind of fun. So we'll get another hundred of those, and then we don't need more of you guys. And let's grab uh, more of you. Yeah, how much of the? We got four of those. Yeah, it should be okay. We got one more thing we can grab, to be fair. I feel like we might need more of these than the other ones, but we could still hand make some of them if we completely really ran out. You needed like five more, whatever. And most of these resources we'll probably dump at this outpost, so. Let's go ahead and find that coal first. Let's go coal here. So I think there should be one, two, and then three, I'm guessing. So there's one, two, right? Two, and then three somewhere over here, I think. Three. There you go. Twelve hundred. Yeah, far away, but that's that's the one we want, I think. Now I could use a map for this, but I don't like using maps. I actually enjoy the journey. That's that's the part I love about this game. Is it's really awesome for exploration. You know, I'm not a min max person. You, you obviously you can tell the way I play. I play out of the seat of my pants. They call it or whatever, right? That's how I enjoy it. So. Um, don't hit your berry plants. They will die if you run over them. So, uh, and as you know, they, they do regrow. So why, why lose them, right? But yeah, I'm kind of a seed in my pants. So I don't use a map. Um, later on, like when you're, you're, you know, like let's say you're grabbing all the slugs around the world and you've grabbed like as many as you can find and you want to kind of min-max there, then I probably would consider using a map. I'm talking about after I've grabbed like many hundreds and hundreds of those guys there, right? I might, you know, finally look up and say, okay, where have I missed in an area? And like, oh, there's one over here apparently and there and that and, you know, things like that. I don't mind that at that point, but I don't like doing it, you know, early in the game. Sort of like back in the day, like when I was a kid, I used to play like Legend of Zelda on the NES and things like that, you know, all those games. And I used to have guidebooks for most of those things, but I never looked or paid attention to those guidebooks until... I was much further in the game, and then I was trying to min-max, learn what I've missed, things like that. Because it's kind of fun, right? Um, you know, sometimes I'll take a game, you know, like for Satisfactory, I'll play it for, you know, a few hours, first time ever, you know, to learn the basics so I can do an okay Let's Play series. I don't want to be completely stupid at it. Wow, this is a nice little site, but I don't think this is it, actually. This could be here. I'm thinking me and my friend Benner played uh, a while back, and there was a really awesome, like, oasis-type area. Well, not oasis, but in a valley. But I don't know if this is it. We deforested it like crazy. And it was in, like, I don't think this is the spot, but it was sort of like this, I think. Yeah. No, I don't think so, because it was... You, you went down from the mountains into it, I think. So let's, let's do our uh, scan anyways and see where we're going here. Okay, this is definitely not it, but it is getting there. Yeah, it looks like it's over there, in fact. Oh, you know what? We're too high. I bet you anything we're above it. 
Yeah, I think that goes down. Okay, so we're above the valley right now. Okay, yeah, so we need to track back a bit here. I was going to build a bridge and go this way. Right, we could still do that. Let's do that. Um, I was thinking I could build a little bridge here, to be honest. Just so we can go over the water here. I thought that would be a kind of a cute idea. Um, the reason you do that is because you, you can go through water, but if depending on how shallow it is, your vehicle can bottom out in it. And I think in this game... I don't know if you get kicked out or not, but yeah, I think you did, but don't, you know, don't hold me to it because I could be wrong. Unfortunately, that's going to sit there for now. So these are crash sites. They're found all over the place. You find a little resources like some cabling here, sometimes more, more expensive resources as well, like a computer circuit, things like that. Here's some uh, reinforced iron plates. So if you found that really early game, that's a nice little feature. And then there's a pod. Um, the pod is not here. Oh, he's in the water. <laughs> so there's a puzzle to these. Uh, so one might be, like, take power to it and unlock it. Another one might be use a certain item to unlock it. And then uh, you can open it up. So this one requires steel beams for them. We're actually working on steel beams, uh, steel soon, but uh, that'll probably be the next episode. So obviously we can't do that right now. But uh, if you put four steel beams in there, then it'll unlock it for you, and then you get a computer. And what this computer thing does, or a data module, whatever, and what this, what it does is basically it allows you to learn another alternative recipe. And there is many alternative recipes. There's probably like a hundred of them, maybe more. I don't know, uh, but there's quite a bit of them. And uh, those alternative recipes can make your life a little easier to go ahead and uh, set up your factory. Like, to the point where maybe you use, a, uh, you know, like a big, huge factory later on. I think it's called a factory, where it's four slots. To the point where you can bring a recipe down to the assembler size. Things like that. So you can do some really cool um, changes here. So I've never come through here, but I think this is it. The waterfall should be here, too. And there should be some more water down here? Or am I wrong? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought there was like a big lake down here, but I could be... Oh, no, 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 here it is. This is it. This is what I remember. Me and my friend Benner, we built a, an actual base over the water here. It was actually kind of cool. Um, and this was just for our outpost. But yeah, here it is. So there's the water. And then back here should be the coal. And we actually killed the hell out of this place. We went through here. And we, we basically cut all the wood and trees down in here. And we used it for, temporarily, we had burners in here as well. And then eventually uh, we went and tapped into the water. So I thought there was coal here. Now remember, they do change some of the resources over time and change the nodes and stuff. There's limestone, but that means nothing really. Obviously, we're not going up in that area. Yeah, there should be, or there used to be, I should say. I thought right in here. I mean, obviously our thing went off, so it was saying there's something around here. We might need to clear some of this forest too. Okay, let's uh, let's run a scan because I'm actually surprised. Oh, you know what? Were they glitched? For some reason, my mind is saying those might have been coal and they were glitched nodes. Do you think that is a thing? My mind keeps saying that to itself. It's like, dude, those are it. Oh, wow. I don't know why. It just... My mind is saying that might be it. There you go. And when you get too close, it's hard to actually do the whole... Oh, crap. We can't get ourselves killed, by the way. I'm just waiting for my health to regen here. See, if you go left, and then when he shoots... Left, right, sorry. Yeah, you're supposed to, like, Mickey Mouse back and forth kind of thing, and... Ow. Oh. There we go. Okay, let's check these out. I, for some reason, I'm thinking these might actually be... Yeah, so for some reason, I don't know if this is for fun, silliness, whatever, 
or a bug. Um, but it was like this for a long time, so I'm pretty sure this is on purpose. These are actual coal nodes, even though they show up, uh, they look like they're the other type, right? But they don't actually, yeah, I don't know if they look quite like limestone, but... Yeah, so there's coal here. There, you, I thought there was more, though. I could be wrong. Maybe there's just two coal nodes, but anyways, what are these? These are normal, so that's 60. Awesome, that's... That's enough for us to get started anyways. Okay. This is cool. So uh, let's go ahead and let's bring our vehicle over here so it just kind of marks the, these nodes for us. There we go. And this will just be our marker, right? And then we're going to go towards the water over here. So I guess right over here. So you got the nice little uh, stuff here. Wow, they really added more life to that. That was never existed when I played last. It's like, if you move around where you don't even know what you're doing, that seems to be the, the winner there. <laughs> okay, so let's make our outpost. I'm going to do it over here somewhere. I think the, the idea of using the water area is great. So let's start with uh, bringing this in here. I want to use it somewhat in the land, but I don't want to go right in the thing. Let's also do the whole north-south thing so it's tilted the right way, right? So this is going flat on it. So, yeah, I think that's right on the south. Because they only move, you know, they move a few degrees, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. I don't want this floating over the water. I want it. That's the problem. It's going to float over the water. Darn it. I don't know if I want it floating over the water, to be fair. So I might want to redo this, to be fair. I want it to be, like, just above the water. Yeah. Arr. Means you wouldn't be able to bring it in land too much. I mean, it could float over top of it. It's not a big deal, but the problem is then you're, uh, you're yeah. You know what? I I'm gonna. I think I'll allow it. I think. It just means it's gonna be a bit more messy to deal with. I think. But you can have yeah. Let's do that. That that actually makes more sense, anyways. And then you can have your support, right? So the idea is you have your support. Um, you can put like support beams in after and make it look like, you know, it's being held up and that kind of thing, you know. Okay, so we're going to take you. Okay. And we're just going to take this back here and we're just going to flush it to the land to be fair. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's get that one cleaned up. Okay. You have to remove that, by the way. Okay, let's uh, let's start with this anyways. So let's get ourselves a little uh, base here set up, a little logistics. So we'll probably actually travel up there. There's our base that way anyways. Yeah, there's our hub. Uh, so we'll actually probably go up this way, uh, up and down. There's like a little pathway. Maybe eventually I'll make even a proper pathway or road up there, but your vehicle should be able to get up there. So we're going to go to production and all the way to the bottom here, and we're just going to grab our, uh, our basics here again. So uh, is there a side that looks nicer? Let's grab this side, I guess. It doesn't really matter, really. There you go. Oh, that one's on the side. That matters to me. <laughs> Let's put you first, then. There you go. Okay, and then we'll put uh, your other one here. Ah, that's right. Okay, and then we'll start getting our storage containers put in here. So you can get your basic organization. So I'll probably do something similar to what I already do. So, like can be the first two so this one can be you know your your iron plates you can put in here this can be your iron rods uh and then uh why do i feel like there's a third option but maybe i don't oh screws right yeah i put screws usually in one and then i go ahead and then i put another two here so one will be the copper and then these guys here and there you go some sort of basic organization it's not a big deal but 
uh, keeping organized does help a bit, honestly. So, there you go. Something like that. That way we can also loot in the area. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let, uh, let's go pick this up. This is what we're going to need over time. Sulfur and other things. Um, that's what we research in the MAM eventually. We'll have to do a, a session of MAM researching. Guess we'll just go for a swim on this one. Yeah, I swear back in the day there was a little thing that would pop up and tell you a bit of new resources that you pick up from time to time, but I don't think I've seen anything like that. Oh my goodness, is that coal up there? It could just be regular rocks, but the way it's sticking out of there it makes me think that it's a resource node. Then again, I swear there was more resource nodes around here, so it might be... There was something 400 or something away, so I mean, maybe that's what I used in the past, but I feel like there was... There was like a whole bunch in the one corner and I just, it feels like it's gone now. So maybe I was always wrong or, oh, what's this one here? This is actual legitimate limestone. Okay. Wow, oh, you're really annoying. Oh, here we go. Buddy, I'm going to kill you. Your death is today. There you go. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and hook up these miners, and uh, basically we, I have to build this out and make a big platform so I can uh, bring all our stuff here. So actually, let's go make a beacon so I can just mark it off easier. Well, it's not like it's hard to find. It's like two feet away. Yeah. You know what? It's not hard. It's right here. <laughs> I mean, you got a dedicated pathway and everything to it, to be fair, so... I'll probably clean it up, though. I might uh, chainsaw this little area. Yeah, I think I will. We need to get the fuel out of our vehicle for that. That way uh, we can have this nicer in this spot. So let's go ahead and uh, first of all, let's go ahead and build another container over here just temporarily. I should have dropped more. I wasn't thinking about, you know, uh, cleaning the ground. So organization, right? There you go. That's fine. We're going to need that later. And yeah, we'll just throw these in here for now. Yeah. I'll pick these up, right? So, okay. And then we're going to go in you, and we're going to pick you up. We'll get some fuel here. How much fuel did we use for this trip? Oh, okay. Not too much. Just make sure we're going to have enough to get back, at least. This, I think, might give you Massilia something or whatever. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Which is a good uh, material to have. So, yeah, basically, we're just going to clean this up so we can get through here and make our pathway a little easier. Now, like I said before, we kind of destroyed this forest when I remember doing this with Benner. This is as far as we got, to, to be honest. I think we built this little power plant area, and then that's it. I think we stopped playing. But uh, it was more because of uh, issues with multiplayer. So It was going to be a series, actually, and this was like maybe a year ago almost. But uh, unfortunately, the game is still a little unstable for multiplayer, especially since he, he lives in Denmark and I live in Canada, very north of Canada. So I don't have the best ping to start with, so... Um, and then, of course, he's on the other side of the world anyways. It all kind of, unfortunately, doesn't mix as well. Okay. Not too shabby. Look at these things. These leaves are just nicer looking. They've definitely slowly added more, uh, like, uh, more foliage. And, you know, you saw those little weird uh, insect birdie thingies flying. You know, that was pretty cool. So, obviously, they keep adding more stuff to the game like that, which is awesome. I just saw a glisten over there. Oh, there's more, but it's under a thing. Okay, I just saw another one. So maybe that's what it was. Maybe there was more, but maybe we had to... Uh... I just realized they glisten. Do they... Yeah, there's something here too. What's glistening here? Is it the berries that was glistening here? Weird. Oh, <gasps> There's one right there. Let's 
Okay, now we definitely gotta run. This is when you zigzag. We gotta wait till our... I could eat some of the berries too, to be fair, but... Oh, I wanna get my health back up to three before I fight again. There you go. There's one here. This is normal as well. Okay, and then there's one here. Okay, so there was more coal. This one, unfortunately, you'd have to blow up that rock, so that's later on. You get C4 or whatever. Well, I think they're called explosives or whatever, but uh, something like that. So let's clean this up then, too, because we can get in here and grab this one at least. I got stuck on that. <laughs> I don't even remember big logs like this, like these fancier logs in here. They, they might have had those ones, but they're, they're pretty nice looking. This might be a multi-episode one, I'm thinking. You know, I don't want to do too many cuts in this, to be honest. It's kind of fun, but we'll see. It's getting dark, so I'll probably start working on the platform during that part, so that'll help. And how's my inventory? Oh, good. I just want to be able to collect this, but I don't want to run out of inventory space either. Okay. Don't, if you, as long as you don't target the berries themselves, they will not destroy the berries, which is the best part of it. Okay. So let's go ahead and build some of these guys. So I need, oh, regular miner put in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So regular miner, and then we'll do our conveyors. We're going to, might as well join into these ones, and we'll do our little fun conveyors all the way down. So I think I'll take this guy with us now. <laughs> Oh, my stomach's making a, a mess. It's like, oh, oh. It's like, no, can't eat for another couple hours of noon. I'm trying to diet a bit. And he likes to get hungry. I'm trying to do that uh, fasting or whatever, intermittent fasting. Not fasting where you don't eat for days and want to vomit everywhere, because that's what would happen to me. I feel like I would vomit after a while of being really hungry, but... Um, Basically, you know, you, you can do it 16 to 18 hours of not eating. So I count sleeping, obviously. So you basically just eat in like a six hour window, for example. And it's not a bad idea, actually. Apparently, it's kind of healthy. We were made that way. Uh, and I kind of believe it. You know, I don't believe a lot of, you know, anti-vaxxers, you know, that kind of crap, you know. But uh, um, I do believe in this one because, um, uh, you know, like I, I read some of the research and history on it. And it does make sense. Uh that, uh, you know, we, the humans, when we were created kind of thing, you know, we used to go out hunting. We go out hunting and, you know, we would eat, you know, very far in between. It's actually kind of makes sense too because I it didn't say anything about this, but it made sense why women don't burn as much versus men. Um, you know, men, of course, were made to be bigger and stuff and, you know, made to burn more to create muscle. But um, it also made sense why women would retain it as well more than men because, um, they, you know, they're meant to stay behind kind of thing, and, you know, in the caves and stuff like that, it sounded like. And, uh, you know, where the men would go out and gather and hunt and stuff like that, and then they come back after a day or so. So uh, the fasting idea is something that seems to be something that probably was more built into our, uh, you know, into our, 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 you know, base, you know, our base cells or whatever you call it, you know, it, it makes sense anyways to me. So, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to lift you up in the air because I don't like you guys too low on the ground anyways. And then we're going to take you, I guess we'll bring you all the way over here to join into these guys eventually. There you go. And then I'm going to just do our, uh, setup like we always do here. So I'm going to go down, build these up here. And we're just going to take these all the way down. Oops. And then we have you, your, your guy here. So you can say you can go here. And this guy can go wherever he wants to go. Oh, he doesn't fit all the way there. That's fine. You can do that too, to, buy, to be honest. You can know, I should do that more often anyways, because then you can go like this, and then they, they start up higher, shorter. And that way you can ride your vehicles through this without any issues. So I'll bring that to the base and then I'll uh, do some more concreting and we'll be back here in a few. 
So I hit a bug, and this one I forget how it triggers. I don't know if it's just at random or whatever. But I went forward, and it was like it was like almost like like that kind of. I'm just doing that with pushing two keys down, but it was acting up. And so I'm trying to you know pretend you're pushing W, you know, trying to go forward, but it's not going forward. It's acting up. Uh, the way to fix that is actually go backwards and then forwards again, and it fixes it. But there's a, a thing where it makes it get stuck, and it makes it think, oh well, it's broken, right? You might have to break it down, whatever. But no, you can just go ahead and fix it by simply going ahead and uh, going backwards and then forwards again. And then it just removes that issue. I guess a glitch or I, I don't know what you want to call it. But something that's obviously not the, the norm of how it should be. So I thought I'd just let you guys know about that. So let's put you guys in there. Just put some of the special stuff here. So I just might as well take uh, what I can out of here and uh, unload it off one of these guys. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys are here. And then you here, and then I'll just grab what I need. But yeah, I'm going to bring out this platform more, and we'll be back here in a few. Okay, so now what we need to do is figure out uh, our power generation. So we're going to have these guys here, the water pumps out here. And uh, the last time I think, oh, let me do the math here. Um, let's figure this out. So let's get a power thing up here and running, a coal generator. There's a coal generator. And then let's get a power thingy mabopper over here. I guess maybe more of the shore. So I kind of need to click it, but actually it might say here to be fair. Oh, there you go. 120 per minute. So three of those would do uh, 360, but a pipe is uh, 300. So that's fine. This requires 40. Is it 50? I thought it was 40, oh, 45. Yeah. So 300 divided by 45. 6.666 so you can say six of them does that okay that's fine your coal is 60 per thing this takes 15 so that can do four you got three of them so that's 12 yeah so if my math is right we can support 12 power generators not too shabby if you think about it so let's see how we want to do that then i probably want it closer to the water because that makes life a little easier um and then, yeah, let's go ahead and just place these down, shall we? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we do them all on here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. That actually will make our life a little easier, I think, then. The only downside is I did this really close to the edge, so if I want to do this properly, I probably want more space in here, and that's the only downside is I didn't really leave that. But I'm actually wondering, because eventually I'm going to probably want another row of this and in another spot, so I wonder if maybe we should bring these back a bit more, because we do have a lot of room, to be fair. I could always go vertical on this down the road, too, right? So let's actually take this out again. And let's bring these back further then, since we do have the room here. And we can go in a bit more too. There you go. So let's do it right here. One. I'm trying to get right in this corner, but it doesn't really matter. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, I'm wondering, because if you're going to do it here, and if you're going to put these like this eventually... You could share the same coal and stuff. Yeah, you know what? Let's redo that. This is the fun part of Factor <laughs> Satisfactory. Well, Factorio too is, you know, you're trying to decide, do I want it this way, that way? You know what? I'm going to do it this way. I know it means a little bit for, for the piping, but I think in the end it'll actually work better for me. I think it will. I'm trying to get this. That's okay. There you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There you go. Got a little bit extra room there too. Now that'll work better. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our uh, line in here, and we're gonna actually set them in here, split them off, do all that fancy stuff. So I think this will actually look kind of clean too. Uh, maybe we can do it up in the air too. So let's just do one to here. I'm hoping this will work. Uh, space wise. So let's just do one. Yeah, let's give it a little extra space. Why not? It doesn't hurt. Um, so we'll do one, two, three, four, five. That's what we were doing. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm hoping it'll fit to here. So as long as it fits into there. Oh, you know what? Let's do it there. 
If you can follow the the long, you know, like something a little bit more mathematically, it works out. Or two, three, four, five. I shouldn't say mathematically gritty. There you go. So as long as this can fit from point A to point B, that's all I need to worry about. Yeah, it will. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So basically, once again, we're going to go right in the center of this one here. One, two, three, four, five. And then once more over here. One, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So these take 15 coal per minute. And now keep in mind, they've changed this quite a bit in the game now. This used to only be supply and demand kind of thing, like um, literally just like our uh, bio generators. It's not like that anymore. Not at all. So basically now you kind of have to fight with it a bit more, which is fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. But it does mean you're going to have to change the way it goes. So let's... I don't know if we're going to be able to... So is that one, two, three, four, five? Oh, no, we did six. I don't know if this will reach. I'm hoping it will, but we'll find out in a second. Yes, it will reach. And I'm hoping this one will reach here. This looks pretty darn close. Excellent. There you go. So here's our coal coming in here. Obviously, no coal yet. And then we're going to bring it over here. There we go. And over here. Excellent. So then what you do is say, okay, so the first... Uh, you can do this on like like this, right? So this first layer here gets consumed by those ones. And then their second one gets consumed by the next ones. And then your third layer here will get consumed by the one after that. Something like that. Now probably people would go the other way but I, I kind of like that more. I don't know why. Just my head looks cooler. Uh, but there you go. So, uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to literally just do splitters all along here. So we're going to go here and you're just going to match up as good as you can kind of splitter. So you're going to put this here. That doesn't need to be even, obviously, or perfect. I don't know if there's even a way to make it as cleaner and even and all that. I just do the best I can and just do it by eye. I mean, it's probably easier that way if there was another way. Okay. And then we go there. And this works out well, too, because you now know where to go line-wise. Oh, crap. No, we're doing the same. Oh, and I did it all wrong. I did all this backwards. I just literally did the opposite of what we were supposed to do. <laughs> See, I'm already failed, my friends. Okay, so let's do that again. So we're going to do from the bottom here. And then you're going to be from the bottom. And then you'll be from the bottom. Probably the further away you are, the better you can eye it. The closer you are, it probably gets distorted too much, I'm thinking. So it's probably not a bad idea, you know, stepping back. If you hear that, that's my uh, sump pump going. That spring putting water in our basement. But that's why you have sump pumps, right? Especially where I live. Way up in the north. Uh, older homes and just... Uh, I think my house was built in a swamp, I think, at one point. That's what somebody told me. But I'm down here, like, I'm up a hill, and it's downhill, so I'm actually pretty good, so not too worried about that. There you go, so that's pretty cool. And then you can go ahead and you can, this part I suck at, but I was thinking of doing something different here. Because um, maybe I can figure out a better way to get the math out of here. So if you go like this and down, so that's that's six, that would be eight, right? So yeah, that, that would might work. So let's try this for a second. Uh, so we're going to go like this, and we're going to go up to six. Yeah, one before eight, right? Yeah, like that. There you go. That's what I was thinking of doing anyways. I never thought of that till now, and I just thought, hey, maybe that would be a better way of doing it. Just measure your uh, split there. No, that's not going to work all the time, obviously, but eight, and then that's nine. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, uh, so we can do that to the maximum eight count. There you go. So there's your eight. Eight. Got one more. There you go. And then this one will probably be maximum ten count. Yeah, that's that's how it works. Okay, that's pretty uh, awesome. There you go. Maximum ten count. 
This way, this is keeping this nice and clean, basically. Or that's the idea. You can judge if it's clean, keeping it somewhat clean. Okay, and then uh, there you go. So we're going to have you go over here. And then, yeah. I, I kind of derped it. Oh, you know, it automatically does that. Never mind. I was like, I derped up because I didn't place the uh, belts. I put the belts first and then the splitter. That's fine. I don't have to worry about the direction then. But I uh, it was the opposite. I was like, oh, crap. I would have done something bad. But, yeah. Of course, it'll, it, it automatically goes based on the belt direction when you're doing that. So I won't have any issues. So it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be pretty cool. I do like the idea of, you know, being able to... There you go. Pretty cool. Okay. I love that. I love it. I love it a lot, actually. You gotta admit, that's pretty damn fancy. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is the piping. So the piping is more of a pain in the ass than anything. I'm just gonna let you know. Take this from a piping expert. It's a pain in the ass. Um, so what we're gonna do is... We're gonna do the same idea here again. And we're gonna put this every so often... And uh, you don't actually have to do it through this. You can go ahead and do it through the piping itself. Logistics, yeah, this one here. There you go. That's just like the same thing as the conveyor belts. Now, they, they have a range to these. Now, I forget. Were they better or worse? Oh, looks like they're just as, about the same there. So, yeah. So, the, we want to do this actually differently. Let's do this like right here. Reason reason we're doing this differently is we, can, we do these in threes, right? So, one, two, three. One, two... Three, so right, uh, oh sorry, one, two, three, one, two, three, yes, yeah, so after this one, I guess. And technically, it doesn't need to be after, oh, we're one far. It could just be right here if you wanted to, to be fair, because it doesn't need to be any further than that, so maybe I'll stop there. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing here, but we'll start, you know, I guess I do need this here. I'll do it like right here, I guess, so right there. There you go. And oops, I meant to do that way. Okay. So one, two, three, and then we'll do it right in the middle again. This seems to be the sweet spot. And then one, two, three, and then it's going to come out over here anyway, so that's fine. Okay. Not too shabby. And then what we do here, just to make this fun. Now, you can do these up in the air too if you want, which is not too bad because you can get through them easier. Later on, you'll have your little jumpy thing. It'll make it easier. Uh, but obviously, you can see it's a pain here. You don't actually get these pieces till later. I don't know if I have to unlock it one way or another. Um, I could have raised this up too. I mean, to be f honest, you can just go ahead and raise these. Maybe that wouldn't have been a bad idea, to be fair. Can I walk through one of these rays? Probably not. You could crouch through it though. Oops. I mean, that's not going to be a good example, but you can't walk through this part, can you? No. But you can you can definitely crouch through it, so that's not a, a big deal. You know what? Let's let's redo that. I'm going to do it that high. Okay, so let's put you here. I want you here. Sorry. Ah, oh, crap. Just trying to put it right where it was, right? So there you go. So we put it up there. There you go. Yeah, well, you know, you can change your bar. How is that? Control 2? No. Shift 1? No. How do you... Hold Control, hold Alt. Oh, hold Alt and you can change your bar. There you go. So you can set this to say... Uh, well, how is it on my current bar? Uh, sorry, Alt, right? Yeah, right, Alt. So that one and that one. Okay, so I'm just thinking, how can I do it on this one? So uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. So we can say uh, this one on 2, 3, 4... You see that at five, and then you can go ahead and put something here like, uh, where's your water thing? This could be like seven maybe or something. There you go. <laughs> Just having fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this one here. And then we'll go ahead and put another one here. There you go. Sorry, guys. I know I messing around here but i just thought i'll do it that way i don't mind it being that way you know we have to crouch under it but it does give you better support to get under it so i think that's not a, too bad of a, an idea there you go. and uh, pipes are unidirectional or whatever you call it is it uni or would that be the opposite Actually, that might be the, the wrong term i'm using there uh it goes back and forth anyway so uh yeah, I guess uni might be the right word, but uh, you can, uh, yeah, 
so we can't oh we can walk under it that little slouch was just enough not to let us before okay that's even better and then you can put these guys in here i always like to put these like crooked like this because i think that works best in my opinion but there you go let's turn off our light so overly bright there there you go one for you one for you and i think this works better when you're a little further back i think there you go one for you one for you and then one for you 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 <laughs> I'm gonna just keep saying you all the time now. You, 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 and you. Okay, there you go. And uh, we can plug these guys in, and uh, we're good. So look at this. So we can plug these ones in, and there you go. Not too shabby, my friends. Not too shabby. There you go. Okay, I think we're going to leave it here because uh, we've gotten quite far in this episode. And uh, actually, we did a little bit better than I expected because I was actually kind of worried we wouldn't actually make it to getting up the... The, this uh, to this far um, now the issue here is we're gonna have to run power all the way to our base uh, that's probably gonna be like a, a hike on foot uh, more for the fact that uh, well, we need to get power down here so next episode we'll get the pumps in the water we'll wire it up and then we'll go ahead and wire up to, to the, the the miners and then we'll run wire all the way to the base which I'll do a cut you know between now and the base we'll walk up here and then start our journey but uh, Either way, this is looking pretty good. I like this. This is a nice setup, and this will give us quite a bit of power. These are, um, I think these are 75, are they, or 70? 75, so uh, 75 times 12 is 900 megawatts of power, so definitely more than enough power for our, us to run our base for now. And then, of course, we can expand this, so we can overclock those, and we get 120. We can double this up, and then because of the way we've designed this, we can set a mirrored version of these on this side and do the same thing again, and basically get ourselves uh, another uh, 900. So there you go, 1,800 megawatts. And then, of course, we can continue expanding elsewhere as well over time. We can go up in the air, you know, things like that. We can, we can do a lot of things, but this should uh, do us quite well for now so either way my friends thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see wonderful people next time have a wonderful day goodbye